sides of polygons having the same perimeter. In your Alex Pie mouse over the green slice arithmetic readiness to reveal the drop down list of topics you need to cover. Click on sides of polygons having the same perimeter. Here's an example problem. A wire is first bent into the shape of a rectangle with width 5 centimeters and length 13 centimeters. Then the wire is unbent and reshaped into a square. What is the length of a side of the square? Let's click explain. The wire is first bent into a rectangle. Its perimeter gives us the length of the wire. And so with width of 5, so if this side is 5, so is this, and length of 13, if this side is 13, so is this side. 13 plus 5 plus 13 plus 5 is 36. So there's 36 centimeters of wire. The wire is reshaped into a square. Its perimeter is also going to be 36. Since there are four sides and each side has the same length, we're going to take 36 divided by 4, which is 9. And so each of these sides is 9, because 9 times 4 is 36, and 13 plus 5 plus 13 plus 5 is also 36. So the length of one of the sides of the square is 9. Let's try another one. A wire is first bent into the shape of a rectangle with width 5 centimeters and length 13 centimeters. Then the wire is unbent and reshaped into a triangle. If each side of the triangle has equal length, what is this length? Here are my notes. If the wire is first bent into a rectangle with a width of 5 and a length of 13, so then we have 5 here and 5 here, 13 here and 13 here, then we need to find the perimeter of the rectangle. 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times 13 is 26. 10 and 26 is 36. And so the perimeter or the length of the wire is 36 centimeters. Then the wire is unbent and rebent into a triangle. And so to figure out the length of each of these sides of the triangle, we need to take 36 divided by 3, which is 12. So the length of each of these sides is 12 centimeters. In my Alex screen, type in the answer that I got in my notes, 12, and click Next. And it says that I got the correct answer. Thanks for watching.